Hey everyone, it's James here at Brick Blender with part four in our series about rendering bricks in Blender. In our last tutorial, we got a uh, little scene set up. We did some different lighting tricks and uh, we modified the bricks a little to make them look a bit more realistic. But at the end of our last tutorial, we were still uh, a ways out of realism. Still didn't just just they're they're not looking quite right and i'm gonna do another render here but first thing first i'm gonna quickly turn off the ray mirror setting that we had in our last tutorial this is a uh, an amazing effect but for our purposes right now uh we're just gonna leave it off until maybe the end when we'll we'll switch it back on okay so let's take a look at what we have Okay, so there's the uh, render with Raymir off, and um, you will probably won't notice too much of a difference, but yeah, I mean, it just it's it's it looks okay. The bricks are okay, but it's definitely missing something. So we're gonna we're gonna spend the next few videos continuing to improve this. I'm holding in my hand right now a two x four Lego brick, and what I notice is that each one of the studs has the word Lego printed on it. That's one thing that this is definitely missing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, append into this scene a mesh that I created, which is just the word Lego. Okay, and to append, all you have to do is hit Shift F1, and this screen loads up, and then navigate to your dot blend file, which is in my resource folder, and then when you're at into when you click on the dot blend you get these kind of subfolders and it, they're under object all your meshes armatures cameras will be listed here and then well you can you, can, you have two options here you can either link it which uh, basically it brings the file in but you can't edit it at all so that really saves on file size or you can append it which actually brings the mesh into your file that you're working on currently so we're gonna append it and it'll be somewhere I'm not quite sure where but somewhere in here all right let's see if we can find it and what do you know it's actually on a different layer okay so this is my Lego mesh and we're going to we're going to duplicate this and put this on every single one of the studs. I know that sounds maybe like a bit of a crazy thing, but as I said in the previous video, realism is all about the subtle effects. And this is one of those effects that when you have a close-up shot of bricks, I think you want it. So what we're going to do is we're going to rotate it by hitting the R key. and G to move it over to where we want it to go and we're just gonna position it right here oh a word about this mesh file um, I'm not going to show you how to create it but I will offer it for download in case you would like to use it yourself and that will be in the uh, show description okay so let's position it in about the right position Again, I have a Lego brick in my hand for reference. And I'm just going to drag it along the x axis and then kind of scale it down a bit along the y axis. Oops. Just a little bit. Um, now, it, you don't want it shooting too much from the stud. Just very subtle, very subtle. And there we go. And then what we're going to do is we're going to link it to this material here. Um, so you hit, you select this and then you hit the shift, hold the shift key and you right click on the uh, object where you want to link the materials. And then you hit control L and you say make links materials. And there we go. They're now the same material. <clears throat> we're going to duplicate this. Shift D, drag it over, 
Yeah, that's good enough. I'm not going to be too picky here. Shift D. Shift D again. Okay, now I'm going to delete these bricks. Okay, so um, that's pretty much what I wanted. We got the, the subtle Lego effect in there. And I've set ourselves up, I think, quite nicely for going into the node editor in our next episode, which is, uh, trust me, going to be much, much more interesting than this. So I hope you enjoyed this and keep blending.